If you followed our videos in recent months, you know that apartment development is a big part of the story in an increasing number of markets, and count Kansas City among them, where construction is starting to have a big effect on rent growth. Welcome to Apartment Market Dynamics from MPF Research. I'm Jay Parsons with your Kansas City update. Apartment construction in Kansas City is up to a 12-year high with about 4,800 units under construction at the end of 2013. Not only is that a long-term high, but it's also about double the peak levels from the previous cycle. Very little has completed so far with just 408 units completing in 2013, but a lot is coming in 2014 when 3,687 units are slated to complete. And here's a breakdown of construction by submarket. All but two of Kansas City's 11 submarkets have at least some construction going on at the end of 2013. But the biggest numbers you see here come in two key submarkets in Johnson County, 1,159 units underway in South Overland Park, and another 858 units in the Shawnee Lenexa Mission area. Now, given that not much new product has completed so far, occupancy rates are not yet seeing much of an impact. Occupancy has been right around 94% or so for the past two and a half years. As of Q4, occupancy came in at 93.7%, following a little bit of a seasonal slowdown. But the bigger impact we're seeing is on pricing. Operators are clearly pricing to compete with the oncoming wave of new supply, especially as those units start to uh, begin the initial lease-up process. Same-store rents for new leases dropped 0.5% quarter over quarter. Quarter, and that brought year-over-year -year rent growth down to just 2.1%. That was the smallest increase for Kansas City in 11 quarters. And when we drill down further, we see the greatest impact on rent growth has come in Johnson County. This is the key upper-income suburban area for the metro. This is the area where apartment fundamentals rebounded fastest coming out of the recession, where rents were most uh, were climbing the most significantly over the past few years. But as construction has ramped back up and home sales have gained some steam, uh, we've seen apartment operators start to back off, back off on rent growth numbers. Now, this table here shows you current annual rent growth as of Q4 2013 for the four submarkets in Johnson County, plus the average annual rent growth over the preceding eight quarters. And you could see the drop-offs across the board. The norms had been around 3 to 4% over the past couple of years in all of these spots. And now we're seeing growth of just 1% to 2%, with a high mark of 2.6% in South Overland Park. Now, we've generally maintained a pretty solid outlook for the Kansas City apartment market through 2014, 2015. We think of it as a consistently solid, though not spectacular, market. But construction here has surpassed the levels that we expected to see at this point. So we've downgraded our forecast for 2014. Our models show occupancy cooling down to around 93% and rent growth slowing to just 1.7% over the next year. And that wraps us up for Kansas City. So until next time, for Apart Mark Dynamics and MPF Research, I'm Jay Parsons. Thank you for watching. Want more? Go deeper with NPF Research's Apartment Market Reports. From a national level, down to individual metros, to specific neighborhoods, MPF Research has been providing unparalleled apartment market intelligence to the multifamily industry for almost five decades. Learn more by contacting us at 877-284-4938 or visit www.npfresearch.com and click on Market Reports.